In 1994, I had the opportunity to play Soda Origin. Coming from Rockhampton, and then I ended up playing Soda Origin was one of the, probably the highlight of my life. You just had so many great players around. I remember playing with like Mel Meninga and, and all them sort of blokes. It was their last years and Wally Lewis's coach. And to be involved in that era, and um, it was just great to be a part of it. As Fritz comes on, gets his big chance in Origin footy. Fritz! Two minutes 40 left on the clock. The ball is now all important. Oh, man, I just couldn't believe what happened. Like, it was, um, it was do or die. The way Queensland play, like anything can happen. So, you know, I ne never played much part in that, but just to see what happened, what the guys done was pretty awesome. Queensland are coming back. Darren Smith for Lager. Lager gets it away. Here's the big fella. Gets the pass on. Coin. Coin goes for the corner. And gets the try. Queensland. It's a miracle. Oh. Oh, mate, it was pretty scary at first. Like, I was only 19 and um, move, like, moving from Rocky to Canberra was a big thing, but like as soon as you got involved, Canberra was a great club, looked after me and I just felt at home then. I suppose when you look at Canberra side, Laurie Daly, Bradley Clyde, I always looked up to Glenn Lazarus because he was probably one of the best front rowers in the game. And, mate, Canberra just was a great side. But then I loved Illawarra too because we not the name sort of players, but w w we had a good side that, you know, played well together, so. Fritz, Fritz, almost over the line and held up by I just had too many injuries and um, just my body just wasn't holding up, so. Since retirement, life's been great, mate. We've got three beautiful kids. Ben, he's a champion bloke, plays footy, and just me two daughters, mate, just love them to death. Oh, Madison, she's um, 21, she now just turned 18. And my boy's um, 27 in August. Yeah, I've got a grandchild, um, Ivy Rose. She's two, mate, she's a little terror, but love it a bit. Mate, honestly, I just love playing rugby league and cherish every moment I played. And when I played with my son last weekend, mate, that was uh, probably the best thing that's probably I've ever felt in rugby league. To be honest, surprised me because it all come come about really out of nothing. It was a half joke. I never thought it would happen. So I ne it's never like I never thought, oh, how good it be to play with Dad. You know what I mean? Because I never thought it would ever happen. And then it got serious, and he was going to play, and there he was. He just kept playing every week. I sort of thought, oh, well, I know he'll always have a go because he's never half-hearted at anything, but. And then when he had one game, two games, and it was an opportunity for us to play, I sort of thought, you know, well, if he gets that game, that's what he wanted. Surely that's enough, but no, it kept going. Oh, mate, it was a bit of a joke, really. But then I just played that weekend, and I enjoyed it, mate, so just kept doing it. And then the opportunity come, I said, it'd be good to play with you, Ben, wouldn't it? And we talked about it, and then had to wait five weeks. It was a long five weeks, but what I did with my son last weekend, one of the best things that ever happened in my life. It's all worth it, mate, so. I'm happy the way it's finished this year, mate, and I just, I hope my son keeps playing. I just want to keep watching him play and watch my kids play sport. You know, hopefully my daughter's playing rugby league next year, so that's my goals in life, mate.